Well, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute just... Hey, sit down! Look, I don't have time for this. I said sit down, Lou! Willow was doing just fine until you got back. But now that you're here, you have responsibility, sir! Look, we're still gonna take the trip. Bullshit! Bullshit! Willow is not a coat that you can just put back in the closet whenever you feel like wearing it. Her life goes on. She's not supposed to be here for you. You're supposed to be here for her. Come on, get off my back, okay? Willow was young. She was just a baby, you know? And plus, I was scared. Cut the shit. Cut it. Because I've been there, and I didn't walk out on my family. I was there every day because that's what a real man does. Fine, Philip. You know what? You win. You the man, you got this big house, cars, you know, you win. Look, are you gonna tell her or not? No, I'm not gonna do your dirty work for you. You know what, fine. I'll just call her when I'm on the road. Yeah, you do that. Hey Pops, what's up? business came up and we're not going to be able to go on this trip. We're going to put it on hold. I'm sure you understand, right? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, just for like a week or so. Yeah, I understand. Maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, whatever. Okay, look, I'm, I'm going to call you next week, okay? And I'm going to iron out all the details and we'll just go from there, okay? Okay? <sighs> look, I love you, baby girl. Yeah, you too, Lou. Willow, I I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, this actually works out better for me. I mean, I can go to the beach, the stores are open up later, I'm cool. Willow, it's okay to be angry. Why would I be mad? I mean, at least he said goodbye this time, you know? Just wish I hadn't wasted my money on this stupid present. Well, um, I'm, I'm so, you, you know, if there's anything I could do, I'm. There ain't I'm nothing here for you can do, Uncle Phil. I mean, it ain't, ain't like I'm five years old, you know? It ain't like I'm gonna be asking mommy, when's daddy coming home? I mean, who needs him? He wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned and I got pretty damn good at it too, didn't I, Uncle Phil? Yeah. I got through my first date without him. I learned how to ride my bike. I learned how to drive. I had 14 great birthdays, and he never even sent me a damn card. <laughs> to hell with him. I didn't need him then, and I don't need him now. Willow. No, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm going to get through college without him. I'm going to get me a great job. I'm going to marry me a gorgeous dude. I'm going to have me a whole bunch of kids, and I'm going to be a better parent than he ever was, and I show his hell don't need a plan, because there ain't a damn thing he can teach me about how to love my kids. <laughs> no, come here and want me, Uncle Phil. This is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air.